I have a quick tip for you today, something you may already be aware of, but I thought I'd share with you. It's something I've been doing for a while, but never really thought that anyone would have any special interest in it. But it's a trick for keeping black flies, mosquitoes, and other annoying insects away from you around your campsite. And all that is, is this is a piece of an egg carton, the top half of an egg carton. It's made of recycled paper that's all mashed up into a fibrous material pressed into shape. We tend to either recycle them, they can be composted, but most people don't realize that they will hold an ember very much like, I don't know, a piece of chair cloth almost, and continue to smoke as long as there's fuel to be consumed. And it just releases a light smoke, really no smell to it or anything. And uh, yeah, it works easy. So all you really need to do is take a piece of this, your lighter, and light it somewhere along the way. And you can see just how little of it I have going. Now that will continue to smolder. It'll actually gather steam up to a certain degree and smolder and produce more and more smoke. A little bit of a breeze will feed it. You can probably see that happening now. This, a piece this size, my experience has been, will last about a half hour. Uh, unless, of course, you light it from two ends or you have another piece that you want to add to it because you want it to generate more smoke than this one does. And this will generate more smoke than this. It just takes a little while to really get going. So just a couple of thoughts on this is, one, be cautious about where you place it. Maybe you want to stick it on a stick or in a fireplace. And the reason I say that is that is a live glowing ember. And if it's breezy like it is for me here today, it's possible that this could lift off of the ground or wherever you have it, end up somewhere where it could ignite a fire. So you wouldn't want that to happen. Uh, what else have I done with this? Well, I played around with it a little bit to see if I could get it light with a ferrocerium rod. No problem, actually. Just a little bit of fuzzing with the edge of my knife, and I can get this to light right up. I've also been successful in doing this or lighting this with a magnifying glass, as long as you have some sunlight. I don't today, or at least not sunlight strong enough to use on this. The only thing I have not been successful doing is using a flint and steel and using this in place of a piece of char cloth. I think it can still be done. I think it's a matter of uh, getting a nice little pile of the dust or the fibrous material all fluffed up and it may well, I believe it will accept a spark. I'll practice on that. You may, maybe you've got some experience doing this and you've been successful getting to light with uh, flint and steel. But what a great way to use up something that's otherwise going to go in the recycle or the compost somewhere and serve a good purpose out here in the woods. Again, just the cautions. Oh yeah, and this is not the egg cartons are not the only source of these. Most of the drive through coffee shops, at least around here, uh, serve their coffees or you can get trays of four coffees uh, in one and it's basically the same material. A little thicker, a little har harder, but it works exactly the same way. Now you can see just how much smoke that is generating. And this will be good for me for another half hour, unless if you want to stop it, just easily tear it off a piece and you can put it away. Okay, just a simple tip on how you can uh, maybe improve your day in the woods by scaring off or at least uh, making sure you don't get too many biting flies around you. All right, if you have any comments or any suggestions about how this can be used or alternatives for this, ooh, smoky then please share them in the comments section below. Otherwise, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.